Hello sports fans, welcome to Super Sports Central. Today, we're going to go over my week 4 XFL predictions. So last week I had a record of 4-0, and that brings my record on the XFL season to 9-3. So starting off this week, we have the Guardians hosting the Roughnecks. So we saw this matchup in week 1, the Roughnecks absolutely destroyed the Guardians. Now this is also the first road game of the season for, uh, for the Roughnecks after starting off the season 3-0, all home games. So now we will have to see how the Roughnecks handle playing games on the road, as... They actually have three straight games away from home. For the Guardians, they're coming off their closest game of the season with a one-point loss to the Renegades, but now they're facing the best team in the XFL. This game really shouldn't be that close. It's the best team versus the worst team. It could be a trap game for the Roughnecks, but I don't think it will be. The Roughnecks should get the easy win here, sweeping the Guardians on the season with the 27-11 win over Orlando. Next game, we've got the Brahmas visiting the Sea Dragons. So these are two good teams, despite both teams sitting at a 1-2 record. Both teams are also third in their division, and both teams really need to win this game. The Sea Dragons, they're coming off their first win of the season, and their offense is firing on all cylinders, but they could be without a key offensive contributor, as running back Morgan Ellison is questionable with a knee injury. Now, the Sea Dragons uh, could definitely get the win, but they're definitely going to need Morgan Ellison to play. Not definitely, but he would definitely make it a lot easier for them. And also, they need quarterback Ben DiNucci to not turn the ball over, and that is something he's... Uh, struggled with so far this season as he turned the ball over eight times so far in just three games. Now, I could also see the Brahmas getting the win because they have a great rushing attack, a pass attack that could be good, and has shown flashes of what it could be this season. Plus, they've got a defense that I believe is good enough to contain the Sea Dragons offense, one of the few defenses in the XFL that is good enough to do that. So, I could see this game going either way. Uh, I'm going to go with the Sea Dragons getting the win. They'll get back up to 500 on the season, but I could easily see this game going either way. I'll take the Sea Dragons 24 to 20. Next game, we've got the Battle Hawks hosting the Renegades. So this is the first home game for the Battle Hawks after playing three straight road games to start the season, and we should expect a crowd of over 30,000 people, which would be an XFL high for this season, and also a high if you include the 2020 season as well. The Battle Hawks they're coming off their first loss of the season, but they've been good so far, and they face a Renegades team that has a good defense but a bad offense. Now, we don't know who's going to be the starting quarterback for the Renegades. They're going to go with Kyle Slaughter. They're going to go with Drew Plitt. They went with Slaughter last week, and they went with Plitt in weeks one and two. Neither quarterback has really been bad, but the offense has not been good under either either player. And while the Renegades, they have been very good defensively, they're starting to get pretty thin at the defensive back position after defensive back uh, Josh Hawkins tore his ACL. He's the third uh, secondary player for, for the Renegades to be placed on the reserve list. So far the season, this is a game I could definitely see going either way, but I think the Renegades are just too limited offensively. The Dome's going to be loud in St. Louis. The Battle Hawks pick up their third win of the season with a 20-15 to win over the Renegades. In the final game of Week 4, we've got the Vipers visiting the Defenders. So the Vipers, they actually fired their offensive coordinator, Duane Taylor, earlier today. So they will have a new offensive coordinator and play caller this week, and that will likely be wide receiver coach Ray Sherman, but there's no official word yet, but that, that appears to be the direction the Vipers are trending for their new offensive coordinator. Now, the Vipers and Defenders played each other in Week 2. The Defenders got the win because of their ability to run the football and the Vipers' inability to stop the run. The Vipers allowed 229 rushing yards and in, in that previous game, and in the Vipers' two previous games, they allowed, obviously, 229 uh, in week two, and last week against the Sea Dragons, they allowed 143 rushing yards. So the Vipers, they already s- struggled to stop the run. Now they face a defenders team who has the best rushing attack in the XFL. That is a nightmare for the defenders defensively. Uh, sorry, for the Vipers defensively. Plus, the defenders, they're coming off their best passing performance a week ago, so their offense is really starting to put it all together. And everything seems to be pointing in the defenders' direction, with the Vipers' defense not being great, the defenders' offense starting to really get going. Plus, the Vipers. Um, firing your offensive coordinator. Everything just seems to be pointing in the direction of the defenders right now. So I have the defenders improving to 4-0 on this season with a 21-13 win over the Vipers. So those are my week 4 XFL predictions. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, uh, comment, turn on notifications to know most of the upcoming videos or this week's live stream. We will have a live watch party for the Roughnecks against the Guardians game uh, Saturday, night, Saturday night at about 7 Eastern. So that is the only uh, live stream we'll have this week for the XFL. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications. I do my best post as often as possible. Make sure to check out the community tab on my channel where you guys can vote on who you think won some of this week's uh, some of this week's games. 
But I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn notifications. I do my best posts as often as possible. And I will see you in the next video.